planning your Guanacaste vacation. What to see on your trip to the western side of Costa Rica. After landing at Liberia's Daniel Oduba Quiros International Airport, there is no shortage of variety for those seeking relaxation, adventure, and every preference in between. Careful planning enables you to cover a lot of ground in the space of one week. Costa Rica's northernmost Pacific coast is bordered by Santa Rosa National Park, just a short drive north of Liberia. It is one of the world's most important protected tropical dry forest habitats, and also a storied battleground site. Not far northeast of Santa Rosa is Guanacaste National Park, within the same protected dry forest and wildlife corridor connecting with Rincon de la Vieja National Park to the southeast. Getting to the park northbound from Liberia takes about 35 minutes. Volcano views are on offer in this region of the country too, including Rincon de la Vieja, which recently let off a little steam. In the same national park vicinity, you can choose favorite activity packages from bathing in waterfall pools. Or thermal hot springs with mud pots. Hiking, zip lining. Horseback riding. White water rafting and tubing. About 90 minutes northeast of Liberia is Tenorio Volcano National Park, not surprisingly on many bucket lists of tourists seeking first-hand proof that the iridescent blue waters of Rio Celeste could possibly be as stunning as they appear in photos. Not far from the park is the town of Bihagua, where the privately owned Bihagua Rana's wildlife haven enchants visitors with an astonishing array and density of wildlife species encounters, including sloths. Further east, about 2.5 hours from Liberia is the town of La Fortuna, the gateway to Arenal Volcano National Park. Although spontaneous options for sightseeing and adventure are indeed available, it's advisable to map out your stay ahead of time. This is Costa Rica's largest natural playground. Arenal excursion combo packages are available to fit most schedules. Canyoning down waterfalls, river cruises, fishing, kayaking and stand-up paddle, the water sport choices alone are staggering in number and location. On some counts, Arenal visitors can find no less than 150 different types of activities to satisfy everyone. Monteverde Cloud Forest jeets year-round moisture that contributes to its misty fairy tale ambience and its biodiversity fame. Birding and wildlife buffs never leave disappointed. The fauna is amazing with its proliferation of exotic ferns, mosses, and more than 500 orchid species layering the treetop vistas is like wandering through a sky-high greenhouse. The canyon views from hanging bridges slung up to 200 feet above the ground are breathtaking. Guanacaste is home to several inland national parks east and south of Liberia. Palo Verde National Park thrills countless boatloads of visitors daily on trips down the country's third largest river, the Tempisque, emptying into the northernmost gulf of Nicoya waters. The home for many crocodiles, Barahonda, just east of Nicoya, is known for Costa Rica's most spectacular cave. Diria National Park, south of Santa Cruz, is one of Guanacaste's best-kept secrets, as a protected ecosystem for more than 380 tree species, as well as rare and endangered bromeliads, cacti, and orchids. With urban tourism having a special Guanacaste flair in this region, the Howler's Online Day Trippers Guide at www.howlermag.com can help you enjoy highlights of Liberia. Nicoya and Santa Cruz The artisan village of Guatil Philadelphia's giant lizards And coastal plies del Coco Pure Gold Coast And from there down the entire Pacific coastline, Costa Rica offers an incomparable selection of beaches within close proximity to each other but with none being exactly like any other. Vibrant Playa's del Coco has grown comfortable with its ever-eclectic appeal to locals and visitors. The allure of this crescent-shaped cove to folks of wide range of ages and backgrounds is described in the Hala article Loco for Coco, Beachfront Bliss. Nearby pristine beaches include Playa Panama and Playa Hermosa to the north and Playa Acatol to the south. 
perched high on a mountaintop at Playa Matapalo, is Diamante Eco Adventure Park. A leading pioneer in the growing business of eco adventure tourism. If the panoramic seascape views aren't breathtaking enough, imagine soaring overhead along one of the world's most exhilarating zip lines, Superman style. High standards of care and knowledgeable staff put Diamante's animal sanctuary in a class of its own. You can also get a taste of Costa Rica's chocolate and coffee traditions during a delicious cultural learning experience. Continuing further down the Gold Coast, Playa Petrero, Playa Flamingo, Playa Brasilito, Playa Conchal and Playa Grande are all popular getaway beaches with good reason, but just enough off the beaten path to maintain their charm. Playa Tamarindo and Playa Langosta are the focal point of this beach parade. Thrust onto the map seemingly overnight in the 1990s by surf celebrities like Robert August, Tamarindo morphed from a little-known fishing village into Costa Rica's second-largest beach community. In addition to the concentration of tourist-driven storefronts, resorts, eateries, nightlife and commercial activities, easy access to attractions such as zip lines, horseback tours, and of course, surf breaks have contributed to the community's vibe. Nature, solitude and wellness. Barely 30 minutes away is Playa Avellanas, where surfers, foodies and farmers converge with beachgoers preferring uncrowded stretches of sand and playful waves. Another favorite coastal antidote to hustle and bustle just a bit further south are the sleepy Nandamojo Valley beach towns of Playa Negra and Playa Hunkil. Both are small, but markedly international communities of nature lovers and solitude seekers. Besides being considered the quintessential Pacific surf town, Nasara is a health, and wellness mecca where juice bars are as much a defining feature as yoga studios and retreats. Located in Nicoya's world-renowned Blue Zone, one of just five such regions in the world where longevity past age 100 is not unusual, Nasara actually encompasses the whole area between Playa Nasara to the north, the small inland town of Nasara, and Playa Guyans to the south. Plan your trip to enjoy and see what you can. Costa Rica offers so much, it is difficult to see everything in a one-week stay. Read more about Costa Rica. www.halamag.com